Are you looking for the best towns to live in New Jersey? Well, spoiler alert, my favorite is Summit, New Jersey. But stick around to the end of the video so I can tell you about why I believe that. All right, so you're looking for the best places to live in New Jersey. I'm gonna go through six towns. They're in no particular order. I'm gonna save Summit to the end. Like I said, that is my favorite one. I'm a little biased though, and we'll talk about that later. But let's start out with Ridgewood, New Jersey. Now, Ridgewood has this beautiful historic downtown area. You've got Van Ness Park right in the middle, and you've got this beautiful, gorgeous train station that has this green terracotta roof, kind of like a Spanish tile roof. A beautiful place to leave in the morning and then come home to at night. But downtown, like I said, you have the park, you have this beautiful cinema, this old Warner cinema. It's kind of like an art deco building. Lots of shops and restaurants, great food options there. And the town itself is beautiful. The high school kind of reminds me of something like Hogwarts. Really idyllic little place in the middle of New Jersey. And not a bad commute. I think it's a roughly 50 minutes or so, on definitely in under an hour, and you can get into Penn Station. So that's Ridgewood, New Jersey. All right, moving a little bit south, and again, no particular order here, we've got Montclair, New Jersey. Now, this is one of the hot spots. People love Montclair, and you'll see that in the pricing of the real estate there. You'll see prices going over asking all the time. Now, I think that's a bit of a ploy in terms of the, the listing prices. They always underprice them to bid up, you know, to drum up bidding wars and so on. But anyways, why is Montclair a beautiful place to call home? Now, it doesn't have necessarily a downtown green like uh, Ridgewood did they actually have a few different parks spaced out you've got eagle rock reservation which is your kind of big county park up on the hillside but then you've got little places like edgemont park Wachung plaza and also other places like brookdale park which is another county park but beautiful little pockets of parks now i can't go without saying bloomfield avenue you've got tons of shops and restaurants on bloomfield i'll show you that in some of the b-roll and you've also got church street which is really cute it's kind of like a little offshoot Again, really cute stores, a lot of antiques and stuff like that. Really cute place to call home. Now, the other thing that's really amazing about Montclair is they have a beautiful art gallery there, the Montclair Art Gallery. They have a beautiful theater, the Wellmont Theater down there with this gorgeous new plaza that they just constructed. The other thing about Montclair that's interesting and a lot very different from these other towns I'm talking about is it has kind of multiple downtown areas, not downtowns, but multiple little centers, right? So you've got Valley Road up in the north, you've got, like I said, Wachung Plaza, and you've also got Walnut Street. And at each one of those locations, you have a different train stop. So from the closest train to the city, you've got like around 40 minute commute, but then it goes up from there. You also have Montclair State University to the north there in the town. So it has a little bit of a college town vibe at the north with that campus. Like I said, beautiful parks and amazing homes. You're gonna love some of the very stately homes on the hill with these beautiful views, but you've got a wide spectrum of properties there in Montclair. All right, going a little bit further south, we've got Maplewood, New Jersey. Now, Maplewood is another town that has a beautiful downtown park. This one's a little different. It's sort of a triangular shape, very organic. You've also got Maple Crest Park that's over by the other side of the town. But in terms of the downtown where the train station is, beautiful, organic, flowing park. But then you've got other parts of it that have like the fields for softball, baseball. And then behind that, you have Maplewood Country Club. Now, it is private but maybe you can get on with a friend that might be a, a member, or maybe you could join, but you have really cool things to do. The downtown itself is super cute. You've got lots of really cute shops and restaurants. You do have an old cinema there, although I think that, you know, they're trying to fix it up. Great food there. You've got the bread stand, Arturo's. I think they just, somebody just opened a little pasta place around the corner. I'm not sure if it's affiliated with them. And then in the downtown, you've got lots of great shops as well as, you know, you've got the Baker Street Market, really cute stuff and a beautiful place to call home. It's sort of like the Park Slope of New Jersey, if you could call it that, except you get a little bit more yard space. Definitely check out my video on that. 
and I'll talk a little bit more about different homes for sale there and give you a little bit more on the price point. Actually, all of these towns, might as well talk about this a little bit of a segue here. All the towns I'm talking about, I have individual downtown tours of each of those. I'll link that down below and I'll also link a playlist at the end of the video for you to check out. The other interesting thing about Maplewood is you have South Mountain Reservation to the west, some great views and hiking trails from there. And you've got all these beautiful streets that kind of terrace down from there. Really gorgeous homes in the area. And like I said, the downtown there, super cute. And the train station, also something out of a postcard. But the amazing thing from there is under 40 minute commute. You've got some trains there like 32, 35 minutes. So you can get into the city, specifically Penn Station, super fast, which is what a lot of people are coming from Manhattan, coming from Brooklyn. They want that super quick commute. All right, moving a little further south, we're gonna jump around here. We've got Westfield, New Jersey. Now, Westfield, you've got Mindewaskin Park right there in the downtown. And again, another sort of organically flowing park, not like, you know, not like a rigid central park, but organically flowing with like a nice pond, gazebo, very beautiful park. And then up off of there, you've got East Broad Street. It goes down to North Avenue, Central Avenue, and Elm Street. That's kind of your downtown triangle. In the middle, you've got Quimby. And on Quimby, you've got, in the summer, they've got that closed off for really great outdoor dining and stuff like that. Amazing shops and restaurants. Everything from like the high-end sort of commercial type places like Urban Outfitters and Athleta. But then you've got little boutiques here and there, shoe shopping, everything you need. In terms of restaurants, you got things from Chipotle to Ono Bowls, and then really nice restaurants like Ferraro's. There's a great steak place down there. You've got Spice Bazaar, Bear Burger, and Vicky's Diner. Lots of great places to check out and have a good meal. In terms of grocery shopping, I really love that they have a Trader Joe's right downtown. So lots of things to do in Westfield, and the homes there are beautiful. You've got the train station right in the center of town, so you've got the north side of town and the south side of the town and all over the town, beautiful homes at various price points. So something to check out if you're thinking about moving to New Jersey. All right, we're gonna jump a little bit northwest from Westfield. We're gonna skip over Summit and save that to the end, but my next favorite town in terms of these cute historic downtowns, best places to live in New Jersey is Madison, New Jersey. Now, Madison is very unique. It has this beautiful Gothic train station. It almost looks like a church when you walk by it. And I'll show you some footage of the inside. The ceilings are amazing. It's something totally out of the old world creation in terms of craftsmanship and, and quality of architecture there. And that's what you get to leave from and come home to every night. Now, just off the train station, you've got beautiful courthouse area. You've got Waverly Place, which has some gorgeous shops and restaurants. Right around the corner from there on Main Street is one of my favorite buildings. It's this sort of uh, Dutch revival style with these these really cute roofs on top. And that's right off uh, Green Village Road, right on Main Street in Green Village. So on the ground floor, they have a cute little furniture store and bookshop. You're not gonna wanna miss those if you're looking. They even have Snookies across the street. Yes, hashtag Jersey Shore. So anyways, <laughs> side note there. But Madison's a great place to call home. I love the quality of the buildings. It's really, really historic, beautiful, beautiful like rich context to the to the building details there. So a really nice place to call home. And again, beautiful shops and restaurants all over. Now, Madison doesn't have like that cute little green attached to the downtown, but you've got really nice amenities in the other parts of the town. Like at the high school, you've got really great sports fields and stuff like that. Now, another university in New Jersey is also located in Madison. You've got Drew University and they even have a Shakespeare theater there. So something interesting for Madison, New Jersey. A really great place to call home. And one of my favorites, I'll save it right until the end here, is the Sunday Motor Cafe. Again, I show that in the video. It's this really cute old gas station that they turned into a cafe. And on Sundays they have Porsche meetups. If you're a Porsche guy and you like to check out those things, something to consider in Madison. All right, 
right, so last on my list, moving a little bit southeast of Madison and right in the center, sort of a hub of the Morristown and Morris and Essex line, depending on what you're gonna call it. Coming from Penn Station, you're about 40 minutes to Summit, New Jersey. Now Summit, the reason why I said I'm biased is I actually bought in Summit, I live there. And the reason why I think it's really cute, it's very idyllic in the sense of having that really cute little downtown. It's sort of an urban suburban area because you do have a tight grid downtown. It reminds me of New Haven's downtown because you have this cute little grid. And actually that grid in particular, sidebar here, that was the first grid of American towns, 1609 New Haven, Connecticut. And it reminds me of that because you have this two little grids for the downtown park. Then you have a little middle grid where you have the train station. And then you have a couple blocks above that, which are your shops and restaurants on Springfield Avenue, Beachwood, Maple Street, and Summit Avenue. Now that's your main sort of downtown area. And from there, you've got amazing restaurants. You've got Roots Steakhouse, Summit House, Blossom Bistro. Down the end, the other side, you've got Winberries. Lots of cool places that are constantly opening. There's a new Indian place, I think it's called Four Monkeys. I'll put that down in the description. I'm not sure if that's the name, but they just opened up. You've got the classic Summit Diner, the old sort of like train car style. Really great pizza places, SQR Pizza is a new one that's sort of more like a Roman style. Tons of things to do in Summit. And my favorite thing is on Thursday, they've got the music going. Uh, I forget what they call it, swinging Thursday nights or something, but you've got little bands playing on the corner. You've got the downtown green, which has lots of events. They have music night, movie night, stuff like that. Lots of things to do in Summit. You've also got some really great parks that are further out of the downtown, like Memorial Field. They had the amazing fireworks there this, this year, every year, really. If you're into sports, you've got tennis clubs. You've also got the public tennis area in Memorial Field. Uh, there's private tennis clubs, there's private swimming clubs, there's public, really nice public swimming area. Not swimming area, but you know, like a swimming town pool, so to speak. If you like golf, there's Canuba Country Club. Again, private, but you know, possibility to join there or get on with a friend. Lots of things to do in Summit. And I love it because if you are in that sort of sphere, you know, tight radius on around the downtown, you could certainly get to the train station super fast without having to do with parking and then get into Penn Station very quickly. Now, if you do live further out, there's plenty of parking spaces if you're a resident, so you can just have a short drive. I think anywhere from Summit, you're probably like five to seven minute drive to the train station park, get out. You can also take an Uber. They, I think they kind of encourage that. There might be some sort of a discount there on that. But anyway, Summit, New Jersey, definitely check it out. It's on my list because obviously I ended up moving there, but the other five places, beautiful Ridgewood, Montclair, Westfield, Maplewood, Madison, and Summit, definitely some of the best places in New Jersey to call home. If you're interested in learning more, I'm gonna link a playlist right here. So you can click that and see each town and do a little downtown tour. I'll see you over there.